ecotourism is really booming, so it's no surprise that suspension bridges and canopy walks were both hot ticket travel trends throughout 2012. From the Langkawi Sky Bridge in Malaysia to the Kapilana Walk in Vancouver, British Columbia, well, we're here at the latest and greatest. We're in the Teetless Mountain Glacier in Engelberg, Switzerland, about to walk out to the grand opening of Europe's new highest suspension bridge, the Teetless Cliff Walk, standing at 3,040 meters. It's a blizzard out there, but let's go check it out. Every good celebration kicks off with a bilingual blessing. Words bridge don't exist in the Bible. In the Bible. And it wouldn't be a grand opening without a ceremonial ribbon cutting. Guests were graced with an angelic presence to remind them that Engelberg means Angel Mountain. They've been working on this bridge since June, but construction has been difficult due to the weather. Challenging part to build the Titus Cliff Walk 3,000 meters above sea level was the weather. Even in summer, it may snow on Mount Titlis, there are storms in summer, and due to this weather, we were about two to three weeks in delay when finishing the bridge. To reach the top of the mountain, you have to take not one, not two, but three different gondolas. The third is the Titlis Rotaire, the world's first rotating gondola. I think people can experience something really thrilling without the capability of climbing or um, have, you don't have to be an experienced hiker. So uh, that might be the start of, of many hiking careers. We have many guests from Asia, from India, from the US. It's really unforgettable to be here and, and to be on, on this bridge and to see that uh, the the wildness of the, the Alps and the snow and, and the, the strength of the Alps. On a clear day, you can see 500 meters down, 80% of Switzerland, and Germany and Austria in the distance. And while the opening was indeed unforgettable, this is the strong view Norbert Pat was alluding to. 